Welcome back to episode 4 of Build School. In this episode I will show you how you can build an harbor like this. So first of all there are also other episodes of the Build School series. You can check them out. Links will be in the description down below and also there will be an annotation on screen right now. And if you are interested in watching one of those you can just pause the video right now and yeah watch that other video. So the gameplay you see right now is me building the harbor and I will go over every step how you can build this harbor and yeah without further ado let's get started. One thing what I need to mention before we get started on building this harbor is I'm using lots of mods so the mods will also be in the link in the description down below so if you want to check them out you can actually do that. And without further ado let's get started for real this time. We start off with step number one. Step number one is an easy step. This is to scout out a location for your harbor. It has to have a connection to sea, otherwise ships will not dock to your harbor and therefore this harbor is useless. Also make a nice flat area where you can work with because it will make things a lot easier in the long run. After that we continue with step number two. Instead of building the harbor at the scouted out location, you need to start building a key first. Also it can be difficult to place a key if you are not using mods, therefore I'm using the key energy mod and it will let me place keys wherever I want so you don't have to worry about that if you're using that mod. But yeah, step number two is instead of placing a harbor, you need to place keys like I'm doing at my harbor right now. We are placing keys as an outline for the harbors. These will later be removed but I will talk about that more when I will reach step number 3. Let's continue with step number 3. Now we're going to place the harbor or harbors on top of the keys. For me it worked without any mods but if you have difficulty go back to step 2 and replace all your keys with the no pillars mod keys. This mod makes sure that if you check on no collision you can place the harbors on top of the keys. And if that doesn't work, just describe your problem in the comments down below and I'll try to help you out. After that we continue with step number 4. Right now the harbors are in and it's time to raise the land in front of the keys. This land should be raised at the same height as the harbors to make sure step 5 will be a success. Now we're going to build yet another key. This time you need to place the key at the raised land. The key and the harbor should match with each other. If that isn't the case, go back and replace the keys until they match up. After you've done that, you need to remove the land that's sticking outside of the key. Also what you need to do is remove the old key that's encased in land. Right now the harbors are in and they'll match your keys you placed. What you need to do with step number 6 is you need to place roads, train tracks and other things you find necessary for cars and also for trains to use. Build up an entire infrastructure for your harbor that you are building. A good infrastructure is important because it will make sure that trucks will get on the highway as fast as possible so they can make more deliveries and they can uh, ship out their products faster. Also if you have a good infrastructure traffic jams will occur less inside of your harbor district. Therefore trucks will be delivering goods faster to your city because they aren't stuck in traffic. This will make sure that your city isn't running out of goods to sell. We're almost done with this tutorial, so let's continue with step number 7. After you've laid down the entire road network for your harbor, it is time to start placing tank assets and cargo assets. Don't overdo the placement of those assets because you still need room for other buildings like normal industry, fire department, police department and garbage collection. If you aren't placing those things, your harbor doesn't work as it's supposed to work. This will have an effect on your city. Also what you could add in in the harbor area is a cargo train terminal. So the cargo from the harbors will be transported to the train stations and from the train stations to your city. Now the harbor is almost done and we have arrived at the final step and that's step number 8. This is the last step and if all goes well your harbor is looking like a harbor right now. You can start decorating with props like train props and other stuff like pipelines and flowers and trees and stuff. What I did is I decorated the harbor itself and also the surrounding areas. The surrounding areas with trees, flowers and other stuff. I also placed lots of props at the harbor like trees, cargo, cars, parking spots, pipelines and other things. This will make your harbor feel more alive and will make the harbor itself look even cooler. If you also do the surrounding areas it will make that entire area come alive and it also makes your harbor a lot nicer to look at. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Build School. Give it a like if you liked it and thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care and goodbye.